Hi, I'm Roy from Drone School UK. Welcome to a beautiful sunny day in North Devon. Let's look at Active Track. Now, when we turn Active Track on, I, you can do it in two ways. You can draw a box around me, like I'm going to do now, a green box, and it enables me and targets me. And you've got three things up. You've got Active Track, you've got Spotlight, and you've got Point of Interest. All right, and if I click on that at the bottom, it'll expand that box. Now, I can actually target myself by pressing this left button over here on the left hand side. You can see it goes white. If I press it again, it's gone to a, and that's enabled me. And you'll see that it's got a target on me now. That's called subject scanning. So I can draw a box or I can just subject scan myself. But it's got me now. And spotlight mode, we've looked at before. It's the same on every drone from Mini 3 upwards. Uh, Mavic 4, Air 3, everything else. Spotlight is really powerful. As I walk around, the drone follows me. It's like having a tripod in the sky. If I walk towards it, the camera moves down. And I'm always, a, I'm always the target. The great thing about Spotlight is I can move the drone away from me. I can move it up. I can use all the stick movements. If I want to go to the left, the drone will carry on going around me like it does on the circle. Okay, so it's a, I'm the center of attention. All I'm doing is pushing right stick to my left and the drone is going around me you can see i've got the speed i can either speed it up or slow it down and it's literally my own point of interest using the spotlight mode if i now click on this and go to poi and come in a bit closer point of interest is what we've talked about earlier i can speed it up or slow it down by pulling this button to the left or the right and the drone will start to go around me at a slow speed. And I'll be the center of attention, the point of interest, to stop any active trap, hit the red stop button, or hit the pause button on your controller. Which is what I'm gonna do now. I click on it twice, it stops. I'm now gonna set myself up again, have a look at the, and then we're gonna actually go into active track now. So this is releasing the drone. Aircraft will fly to set direction. Okay, so we've got automatic movement or we've got standard movement. The automatic now is looking at the, there are two circles. There's an inner circle and an outer circle. And to press the settings, I can go in the top left or I can press this button down on the left. And this gives me what the settings are. So we've got an outer circle and an inner circle. And you can see that outer circle and what the distances are. And you see the five meters for the, and the 10 meters. All right, so the outer circle is 10 meters, the inner circle is 5 meters, the inner height is 4 meters, the outer height is 7.5 meters. Let's come out of that, we'll come back to the, the screen, and you can see that the drone is trying to look to go behind me in an automatic way. So if I walk up over here now, the inner circle, if I press the circle now, it's now gone a little bit further over there to the right. If I press to, to the right over here, it should come around here. You see, it's gone up to that height before. If I press the inner circle behind me now, it should come round and down. I stand still so it should come back behind me as I walk forward. You can press your finger on this left sticker and it'll work whatever your, it's magic that it does. All right. If I press these in the middle, these now, I can actually look at different changing shoes. So I could do cycling, I could do skiing, but I've got it on standard at the moment. Okay, so cancel that. If I click on the auto button, it goes blue. If I click on it again, it's disabled, it goes back to black. So click on the button on and off. So let's click on so it's on blue and automatic movement is enabled now it's following me and it's picking up that it wants to go behind me or it's in front of me so now it's going to the outer circle at a width of 10 meters and a height of 7.5 and it's now it's trying to go around behind me now it's changed its mind and wants to come around the front of me so the drone is making the decisions in auto with this blue color that you see now it's making its own decisions on where it's going to go it's now to my right as i'm walking forward if i now press auto again it's disabled and we're back onto spotlight 
one final point when you are flying in auto mode you really should keep your finger over the pause button at all times because it is unpredictable and the drone can go anywhere within the inner and outer circles on the final point on the active track if i disable this pointing out if i now point the drone at the car take that off push the push it towards the car okay and i draw a box around the car you'll see that the drone recognizes the, the, that that's a car and it would track like any form of car if i drove along it would track me uh, if i move the drone in spotlight mode now which i do it stays on the car if i push the drone up in the air it stays on the car so you can track vehicles you can track bikes you can track dogs whatever you want to track it'll pick it up hope that's helpful happy flying bye for now if you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded